Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to auto generate 10,000 plus NFTs in one single collection with absolutely no coding knowledge needed. If this video sounds familiar, that's because I've already posted a video similar to this on my channel. However, there was some confusion in the comments, and I try making my videos as noob friendly as possible, so this video is going to be an absolute beginner guide i'm going to make this so noob friendly that even a toddler could follow along now before we get into that if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel it would mean so much as we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers that is the end goal and if you like nft related content you will like my channel so make sure you subscribe with that out of the way let's get right into this video Alrighty, so the first thing you want obviously is your nft art in Photoshop now if you don't know how to get to this stage of the video how to actually make the art itself and have the different layers I will have a video that I made a couple days ago linked down in the description make sure to check it out it goes through how I exactly created this NFT that you are viewing on the screen the sauce bottle NFT which will be dropping soon hopefully on OpenSea and it might honestly be out by the time this video is out so I'll have that linked in the description if it is so essentially the way you need your nft to be set up is that you have it in different categories listed as you see on the side so you have like the hats the eyes mouth base and then there's like names and then the random is just like some accessories basically you just want different layers for your nft and i'm sure most of you guys know what i'm talking about there's always a base so as you can see this is the base of my nft every single nft that is auto generated is going to have this exact same base However, it's going to have a different variation of eyes. So it might have a happy eye, sad, confused, so on and so forth. You get the idea. So once you have everything organized into different folders, what you want to do is go to file in the top left, then export, and then layers to files. Click that. Then make sure your destination is wherever you want it to save. For the file name, just save it as whatever you want your NFT to be called. And then make sure the file type is on PNG24. Have these two options ticked on. So transparency and include ICC profile. And have interlace and trim layers ticked off. Then you just want to select run. And this is going to export every single layer that you have as a PNG. So it's very important if the way you set up some of your assets is that they're on different layers, you want to merge them. So for example, let's take the confused eyes. As you can see, the confused eyes are made up of a ton of different shapes. However, you want this all to be on the same layers. You can do this by selecting all of them, making them rasterize and then right clicking again merging the layers and bam every single one of your assets has to be like this in order for that file layers to files will work so once that's done running you will get a ton of different assets all in a folder what you want to do next is sort each of the assets into their separate folders based on the category so as an example all my different backgrounds i put into the background folder all the different eyes i put into the eyes folder and as you can see these are all pngs so if you've been watching all my other tutorials this probably makes a ton of sense to you and shouldn't be too hard to follow along but now that you have everything set up you are ready to run the program which is going to auto generate all of these different assets into one cool nft like this one so you want to load up this website site right here it will be linked down in the description it is a github if you don't know what that is do not worry and it is the hashlips art engine this is created by hashlips if you do not know who this man is please show him some love this guy is the goat of the nft community he created one of the craziest programs i am not a programmer and i just think this is unreal what he's given to the community so make sure to show him some love down in the comment section he really created one of the best programs i've ever used and it's so easy for beginners to get around so what you want to do when you're on this site is go to code 
and then download zip. If you want to be working on the same version that we are in this tutorial, it's the version 1.1.2. So once you download it, it will show up in your downloads folder and then you just want to extract it. You're going to need like a WinRAR 7 zip. I'm sure majority of you guys already have that. Just extract it to your PC. Next thing you want to do is go to this site called Visual Studio Code. It is a program in which we will edit things around to make the 10,000 generative art nft work and you just want to select download download it very simple to download the last thing you'll need downloaded is node.js majority of you guys probably already have it on your computer but if you don't i'll have a link to it as always in the description and you can download that as well it's very easy to do now i will note that hash slips has stated it's best that you work in version 14 we're not going to be working in version 14 today we're going to be working in version 16 i'm not 100 percent sure what the difference is but he has stated before to try and use version 14 so i will recommend that but I'm not using it. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is and everything works in the version 16 that I'm doing, at least that I know of. So with that being said, let's open up Visual Studio. You can do that, type in Visual Studio, open up the program and then go to file in the top left, open folder and then find that Hashlips art engine main in your download, select folder and it will open up. The next thing you wanna do is go to the source and find your config in main.js. These are gonna be the most important files. The next thing you wanna do though is go to terminal, new terminal, and then type in npm install and hit enter on your keyboard. This will take a couple seconds to install. Once that's done, everything should be working. And if you wanna to check to make sure things are working, you can go npm run generate and if it creates five different additions that means that everything worked right you have everything set up and you are ready to go you can check on those in the images folder at the top here in the build alrighty so how do you go about changing these eyes to your own versions of the assets that you have well it's incredibly simple what you want to do is go to the folder in which you downloaded then go to the layers option then you want to just remove all of those folders right there and import the folders that you have from your assets so we're going to import all of those but bam the next thing we want to do is go to our config.js and we want to change these layers orders so instead of the background eyeball eye color we want to change it to the assets we just imported so instead of background it's going to be one dash background for me and I'm sure you guys get the idea. Instead of eyeball, we have two dash base. It's very important that you use the exact same folder name and you don't mess anything up or else it will mess up when you try generating them. Alrighty, so I only have six different layers, but this example was using seven. Not to worry, you can just remove it. Or if you have an additional layer, you can add one as well. But we're gonna remove that and now we have six. Then you just wanna to go to file and save all so it saves the code. And you may be thinking, there's no way it is this easy. Well, it actually is. NPM run generate in the terminal and it should work. As you can see, it is creating additions. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we can check the images and bam, look at that. We have all these beautiful sauce bottles, but we are not done yet. There is more to explain. There's actually so much in this program that you can do. I'm not even gonna be able to cover all the different features that this program has, but I will cover the basics. So the next thing you're probably thinking to yourself is, how do I add more than five? I wanna make more than five. Well, very simple to do. Go to your config.js and instead of five, you can change it to 20. So do the same thing, npm run generates and it will generate 20 different additions instead of just five. Wait, just kidding, I forgot to save all. Make sure you save all. The amount of times I do that is ridiculous. Okay, now it should work and create five. 
that it is saved. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it keeps going, it'll keep going until 20. Very cool stuff. But you're noticing, I have this gold sauce bottle, but I wanna make them super rare. I don't want the gold sauce bottle to be a common thing. As you can see, it's pretty common. It's like almost every other one is a gold sauce bottle. Well, you can change this very easily. So what you wanna do is go to your layers, then go to the layers that you want to change. As you can see, we have the bottle and then we have the gold layer. Now, I want the bottle to be super common. I want it to be like every single time, like 99 out of 100 times. Well, what we can do is change this to 99, hashtag 99. Then we can change the gold to, let's say, hashtag one. Bam, enter that in, go to NPM, run, generate. And then you will notice all of the images will most likely be the red sauce bottle. As you can see, we're not getting any gold. Now you may be noticing in the output that they're going to a 512 by 512 dimension. And personally, I like working with a thousand by a thousand when I work with NFTs. So you can actually change this very easily by going to the config and going to width changing that to 1000 going to height changing that to 1000 and then it will save as a 1000 by 1000 nft but make sure to go to file and save all so everything stays now i think that pretty much sums up all of the basic things some other additions that you can do is changing the description this will be very important if you plan on using like the json files when uploading your nfts or trying to get them minted as well as changing your collection name but yeah really cool thing too as well you can check the json files and it shows everything it shows the trait type the value which is very helpful for later down the line when you're trying to get your project to the public but that's gonna do it for me guys i think that explains all the basics in the easiest way possible if you do have any questions please leave them down in the comment section i'll try and get to them i know last video kind of got out of control with the views and i couldn't get to any of the comments because there was just way too many but hopefully this video isn't as crazy and i'll be able to respond to some of you guys additionally I will be trying to get this sauce bottle collection out onto the market, so check out the description if it's in there. Maybe purchase one for yourselves. It would mean a ton. It would help me out a ton. But what would help me out even more is if you subscribed as we keep you in the loop on the NFT world, and it helps me get one step closer to 100k subscribers. That's going to do it for me. See you guys later. Maybe.